should pine martins be reintroduced to the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley? In this vlog, I'm going to talk about people and pine martins. So pine martins are a joy to watch and they readily come into feeding stations. And if the project does go ahead, we'd want to set up a wildlife watching opportunity uh, done in a sustainable way, um, but really for the enjoyment of the local community, but also to help increase ecotourism to the area. There is an illegally released population of wild boar in the Forest of Dean, and they've really split the local community. So some people love them, some loathe them. And I'm often asked, will the same thing happen with pine martins? The wild boar are really a classic example of an illegal release rather than a planned reintroduction. So if someone had done a feasibility study for the wild boar, they would have known about the high levels of human wildlife conflict they cause in continental Europe. Human wildlife conflict with pine martins is generally very low. They never get to a very high density, so one per square kilometre is viewed as a very high density of pine martins. However, if you do live in or next to woodland and a pine martin does decide to den in your attic or does start taking your poultry, then we'll be on our hand to help in any way we can. Preventing pine martin conflict is often the same techniques that you'd use to prevent against other predators like foxes. Public opinion surveys for previous pine martin translocations has shown high levels of support. One often stated concern is the predation of wildlife. And if that is your concern, please do watch the vlog that I dedicated to it. Because over the last few decades, one of our real big leap forwards in our understanding of ecosystems is the important role that predation has and how it can be really beneficial for an ecosystem. The group that often have concerns about pine martin translocations are gamekeepers, but still within that group there's usually 60 to 70 percent support. We're also doing our own public opinion survey and please do fill in the online survey on our website. We're also doing an on-street survey and collecting together all feedback so that hopefully by the end of the project we will have a really good idea of what local communities think about it and we won't go ahead with a reintroduction without their support. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thanks a lot.